Hi, I'm Patty with Studio of 12 Stencils, and today we are going to paint on this Dollar Tree mat. We're going to make a dog or cat food um, little placemat for your floor to keep it protected. All right, so the stencil that I have chosen is one of our personalized stencils. If you go to studior12.com, you can see all of our stencils and we have so many personalized ones. So you can do monograms for your pets. Um, you can do their names. Um, we will get that um, designed for you and send it out so you have the exact name for your pets that you have. And um, I think it's just so fun. I am not going to do this part or this part, the under part. I'm gonna just do the paw and the name. Um, so what's neat about stencils, not only that they're reusable, not only that they're super durable, but they also, you can use just this part by itself. You can just use the words individually. So all the parts can be used for whatever craft that you have. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work on our placement. Um, this, what I love about this mat is it's just like a buck 25, or at least it was um, this year. Um, anyway, I'm going to not center it right in the middle. Um, I'm going to drop it down and have it be a little bit um, different. And then I'm not gonna worry about those words and those words like we talked about. And I'm going to find the middle of my stencil. So this is 12 inches wide. Grab our marking tool. I'm gonna go to six inches. So that is where my six inch mark is. And we can also go up to the top. <clears throat> and right here under his paw. Okay, and then our mat is, so there's my 18. So we are 18, 22, 23 and a half. So at 11 and three quarters, we wanna just place our tape. I don't wanna mark on the rug because this kind of rough fabric is going to be a little bit difficult um, to erase on. So I don't wanna make marks on it. And then I'll drop it down. T-squares are amazing things. So we wanna come straight down here. And that looks about right. Okay, just for placement, we'll take that off as soon as we get it placed. Okay, <clears throat> we are going to place this stencil. Pop it on down here. Got my line, I've got lines going across the top and everything. One thing that I do wanna do um, is I've got these divot lines and I wanna make sure that I can maybe place a stencil within the fatter lines. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Now with um, something that has this kind of um, texture and stuff, it can be possible that your tape won't stick very well. So it's super important to use a wide tape. We're gonna use a single color today. We're just gonna use cream. We debated about teal and we do love teal around here. And we are going to pour some of this on our palette. Always shake your paint. And then we are gonna do some stippling today. We like to swirl a lot. With this kind of rough texture, we're gonna be better off to stipple straight up and down. We always offload. We use dry paint. And now we also use our glasses. We're gonna hold our um, project down and next to where I'm holding, just gonna do straight up and down stippling, and you just wanna make sure you're securing it. Okay, so if I move over to this side, I'm gonna wanna make sure that I hold it down over here. Lots of places for this to poke up and lift and then we'll repeat with a second coat, and then we're gonna let that dry, and we'll do the rest of the lines. Okay, you wanna be careful as you get paint on your fingers from holding things down that you don't touch outside of your mat and make a mess.
right, I'm gonna hit this with the blow dryer and get it nice and dry so that the next coat will not um, slop around with the first coat if it's not dry. So when your paint is dry, the next coat will coat better versus if your paint is wet, sometimes it'll just slide around a little bit. I'm gonna give it one more blow dry and see if the third coat will be a finished product. Okay, so I always say that you should peek when you're stenciling. So that doesn't mean you take the whole stencil off and then try to get it replaced. Um, you wanna just lift it up and then peek under the edge. So let's take a little peeky poo and see if we think that's dark enough i think it's dark enough but i think i'm going to do one more coat just to get one more level up so i will pop that right back down and then blow dry and we'll do one more coat okay i think we've got it <clears throat> when you are doing a project like this this make the best gift for somebody that has is crazy about their pets um, so if you like that idea or if you have other ideas of things you'd put this on, make sure you leave us a comment below and then make sure you check out our other social channels, Facebook, Instagram, um, all the things. So YouTube, like us and subscribe. Okay, so let's take a reveal, shall we? All right, dun, dun, dun. We're gonna peel straight up. And ta-da! Look at how stinking cute that is. We'll pick off the loose little hairs and let's talk about protecting. I'm gonna give this a little blow dry, plunk my brush in the water, and then I'll show you how to protect it. Okay, so the way that you protect this from getting, um, oh, just scumbly and nasty looking when dogs get doing their doggy things, right? Um, you're gonna use Krylon Matte 1311 Finish. This is a fabulous product. You can use it for all kinds of projects. You could use this on your watercolors. You can use it for doing chalking. You can use it for all the things. It is so handy to have on hand. Um, so um, you're gonna take it and you're gonna shake your bottle up really well. Go to a well-ventilated garage door up, that kind of thing. Follow the safety instructions on the back of your can and then give it a couple of sprays in that direction and then give it a couple of sprays in that direction. If you need extra, you've got a sloppery dog, um, then give it a couple of extra for just extra measure. And now you have a beautiful mat for your furry friends. I hope you enjoyed this. Please give us a um, thumbs up. It really helps our algorithm um, and it lets YouTube know that you liked this content. Thanks guys, see you next time.